Hi, I'm Dr. O'Malley here at Denver Sports Recovery. And today we're gonna to talk a little bit about parasympathetic breathing and how to affect your autonomic nervous system. So your autonomic nervous system controls everything that isn't consciously controlled in your body. So certain muscles, smooth muscle contraction, your breathing, adrenaline, and it's a balance between your sympathetic nervous system and your parasympathetic nervous system. Your sympathetics are fight or flight, adrenaline, stress, pain. Your parasympathetics are gonna be that rest and digest, immunity, relaxation. And in our society today, we're stuck in the sympathetic mode way too often with driving, notifications on our phones, things like that. So it's very important to find ways to be able to get into your parasympathetic state. One of the easiest ways in there is our breathing because it's the one system that's both consciously and unconsciously controlled. So I'll give you a few quick ways to breathe that will help you get into that parasympathetic breathing. If you want to breathe more sympathetically and increase that fight or flight adrenaline, you're going to do quick breaths like breath of fire, three breaths a second for about 30 seconds. But what we want to focus on is more the parasympathetic side. So slowing things down with that, you will breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. You're going to exhale for twice as long as you inhale. So you do three count in and a six count out or a four count in and an eight count out, kind of like this. Okay. So we're gonna do a three count in or a, and a six count out. We're gonna do four breaths like that. So just like this, three in. And you continue to do that for two more breaths and it'll just help you relax. Another good thing to focus on while we're doing this parasympathetic breathing is making sure you're breathing through your diaphragm. The best way to practice that is going to be lying on your back with your knees bent, a hand on your chest and a hand on your stomach. And as we breathe in, we want our stomach to raise, but not our chest. And we'll again do the three and six. So three in, And you'll just do that about 10 breaths each morning is a great way to start your day.